What is going on guys, Sagebox here and welcome to today's video. Now before the video starts, I just wanted to say thank you to Drew Acosta for letting me use his amazing art for the thumbnail. I have a link to his Twitter down below, so do make sure to check out his work and let's do this. So as you can tell by the video title today, we will be talking about what if Deku met All Might earlier. So I've tried my hand at these what if videos once before with my what if Deku did a fight muscular video about 9 months ago. So if you want to see more of these, I really need to see feedback showing that. So let's set a lofty light goal of 100 likes for the next what if. And now we can begin. Izuku Midoriya, also known as Deku. At the age of 14 in the original storyline, he would be chosen by the number one hero All Might to be the next successor of One for All. After the sludge incident, All Might deemed Deku to be worthy of inheriting his power and gave him the foundation to chase his dream of becoming a hero. He would go on to become a student at UA and have his encounters with villains here and there, which would result in him breaking his arms on multiple occasions. Deku would also learn to control a small percentage of his power throughout his body with the technique one for all full cowling and would end up eventually changing from using his arms as his primary form of attacking to his legs with his shoot style. Now after reviewing this brief summary of Deku in the anime, let's start implementing the what if Deku met All Might earlier aspects into this story. Let's say Deku met All Might at the beginning of middle school. Same scenario with his sludge villain, Deku goes out to save Bakugo despite being quirkless and All Might saves him saying he inspired him to act and pushed him further as a hero. Deku starts training with All Might but this time around he won't be a rush slash incomplete vessel because he would have 3 years to train with All Might before taking the exam instead of 10 months. Now Deku has managed to spend more time building up his body and becoming more knowledgeable with One for All. Plus there's extra guidance from All Might. And he has already before taking the UA entrance exam, learned full cowling and is able to tap into roughly 10% no problem. And I know he may be training for a longer period of time and in the original storyline during the back of rematch he is able to use 8% but keep in mind he would have been a whole 3 years younger when he became All Might student so instead of 14 and 11 and I believe that would be a factor on the difficulty and longevity of training he would do because he is younger. And these sessions will be taking place after school only a few times a week as they have much more time than they do in the original storyline. And for the people worrying about how All Might has been able to train Deku for 3 years at this point at a steady pace with no rushing, with this story of what if being 3 years before Deku met All Might in the original storyline, at the time of their meeting it's only been 2 years since All Might sustained injuries from All for One and there hasn't been any of these catalysts for his power reducing yet. As Deku hasn't drawn UA, so no USJ situation with the League of Villains or the All for One fight, only the Sludge Villain event has happened so far. So All Might is still in decent standings for the time being. Fast forward to the day of the entrance exam, Deku is overall a more confident person as a whole and Bakugo already talks to him at all. There's the occasional nerd here and there but he's more weary of Deku as he's pretty strong at this point and him and Deku are at the top of their middle school, with the opinion of who is stronger being completely subjective because they have never fought. Also Deku isn't being bullied as he did in the original story because at the beginning of his middle school journey obviously the events with Slime happened making Bakugo not as aggressive towards him and he actually has a quirk so there's no reason for anyone to be picking on him I guess besides from him being nerdy about heroes which won't ever change. Deku is looking forward to the exam as he wants to show off the fruits of his training and try to rank the highest to impress All Might. And while Bakugo walks past him he says I'm taking the top spot which only gets Deku fired up and in his excitement he trips and you know what happens next. The exam is finally about to start and Deku has a little flashback of all he's been through and is ready to take the next big step. Then it begins. Deku starts by activating full cowling, clearing out all the robots in his path, leaving the other contestants in awe. He uses a variety of smashes that he has in his arsenal like Carolina Smash, Texas Smash and Delaware Smash and things are looking kinda smooth for him. When Deku suddenly hears a scream for help, Ochako is trapped under the rubble while the final boss robot approaches. Deku runs towards her while the other contestants flee in a similar fashion to the original story. He jumps up using full cowling and tries to hit the robot with a smash. However, at 10%, it only puts small dent in the robot, causing it to halt momentarily, much to Deku's surprise. And in this little time he has, he manages to save Uraraka and the exam comes to an end. Deku, despite feeling bummed out about not being able to take out the robot, receives praise from the other contestants and Uraraka for saving her. While the teachers judging in the background seem ecstatic with his performance, even All Might, but Deku just can't come to the terms that he actually couldn't take out that robot completely and it's really bugging him. He ends up finishing in first place in his sector and a few days later returns to the beach to meet with All Might. 
All Might celebrates Deku's acceptance into UA and can't see why Deku doesn't seem all that happy after being accepted into the school of his dreams at the top of all of the contestants. Whereas Deku replies, if that was a real villain and not a robot, what would I have done then? Would I have been able to save her? Would I have been able to win? I need to master this power so I can be like you, All Might. And with that, we come to an end. Well, that's it for the video, guys. I hope that you enjoyed What If Deku Met All Might earlier because I certainly enjoyed making it. And you know what to do if you want to see another what if on the channel or maybe another part to this. I really wanted to do a one and done with this one but I really enjoyed talking about Deku in a more positive light in his middle school days and him just being completely way confident in himself and in his power and really like showing off with it. Um, so if there's a serious amount of people saying they want another one, who am I to say no? But if not, then this will probably be the only one for what if Deku met all my earlier. So make sure to smash that like button. Let's get 100 likes for the next what if. Also turn on notifications and subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.